Welcome to the Living Leaner and Greener channel brought to you by Fish to Food Aquaponics. Hi, I'm Vicki with Fish to Food Aquaponics. And I'm Dan. And we're here today to show you how you can grow food in your own backyard with these creative veggie boxes that my husband has made out of 55 gallon barrels that we got at a car wash for free. Um, what he did was he uh, made a wicking system inside the barrel. This is a water, actual water reservoir that the top of the barrel is cut off and inverted and put down inside here. And then the foil, there's an air space, and then there's a foil up to here. And so the water wicks up from the, from the water from the bottom and the roots don't get stay wet, but it just stays moist. So it's a very efficient way of growing vegetables. And also, the this is the field tube right here. You can have this filled with your irrigation system, or you can just pour water in this little um, pipe right here, and this goes all the way to down to the bottom and fills up the water reservoir. So these are some of the things that we just planted some tomato plants and then these are blueberries and we've got onions in here and strawberries down here and so keep watching the video and we're going to show you how to build this. Hi this is Fish to Food Aquaponics and today Dan is going to be showing us how to make a grow box out of a 55 gallon barrel that you can get online at Craigslist for around 10 or 15 dollars or you can get them free from car washes which is what we did in this case and Dan why don't you take it away and show us exactly what you've done okay um, just above this first um, bulging line on the barrel I'm, I cut I cut along here you cut okay so you with a with a saw with a hand saw hand cut, saw you cut, cut right above the top yeah it okay. cuts easier with a hand saw by the way and then I remove the top All and right. then and then we take the top um, and we with the hand saw we cut eight different grooves in it along um, here and uh, I'll show you how easy it is to grab my saw so. Um, We'll just so just a regular saw will do. Yes. And you cut them down to about to about right here. About an inch above the. Yeah, a couple inches. Yeah. A couple inches. An inch. Okay, and then uh, you so you have slots all the so way have, around. We have eight slots cut in it, right? Okay, and, and you you will first start by washing the barrel out real good, and you use uh, correct just water and just water and rinse them out. Rinse them out. Okay, um, what I've done is after cutting the top off of the barrel, um, I'm going I cut slats um, in the side, which we've already seen previously, and I'm going to cut, I'm going to go ahead and fit this top in here. But before I do that, um, I just want to say that on some of these barrels on the top, um, since the lip is so wide, you're going to have to take either a jigsaw or a, a little saw like like this right here and um, trim some of the plastic off the edge of some of these barrels because otherwise you won't be able to get the lid in, in the bottom part. It happened, I think it was this one right here, it just happened to fit perfectly, yeah. it had a different kind of top. But as you can see, all the tops are different. So Dan had to trim some off of this top. Okay, there you go. Now, as you can see, the part he trimmed off. Okay, now you can just take your foot and stomp it down in. And voila, you have created a water reservoir in the bottom of your barrel. That's the water in the bottom. The dirt goes on top. Okay, now I'm going to take a piece of four inch pipe and a marker and I'm going to mark where the wicking tube goes. Okay, so you're just placing that right in the center. Are you measuring yeah, it or you're placing just it right in the kind of eyeballing it? Kind of eyeballing it. 
and you're going to draw a marker, a circle around where that goes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And then we're going to take a quarter inch drill bit. when you're done. Okay, so now Dan is uh, sewing between the holes. Go ahead, Dan. The keyhole saw. Tube, which is a two inch uh, pipe with a, uh, what is this fitting? This is a uh, two inch threaded male adapter. Two inch threaded male adapter, okay. And this comes up above your top of your, your dirt is going to come to about here, right. your soil. And then so this will become come up for a feeding tube. And this is where the dirt will be packed. Water, water into it. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to put the um, wicking stock in the um, PVC wicking tube. And okay, and you just cut the, the notches in the wicking tube. So we're going to measure. So let's show people what you did okay, so with the wicking with the tube. So you cut the notches in it with a jigsaw. Yes, this is so the water can get into the wicking sock. All right, so now you're going to take this product which is um, this is the drain the this is the drain sleeve drain sleeve and you get that at, at Home, Home Depot. Depot in a roll for nineteen dollars. Alright and you can make a lot of grow barrels. So you're gonna cut off a link Yeah so I'm gonna tie a knot tie in, a knot in the, the end of the sock and then we're gonna pull that tight. Okay. A nice little knot like that. And then and I'm going to that put that goes sock down in that four-inch piece of PVC pipe. And then I'm going to cut it off. Okay. And then I'm going to drape it over like this. And this is the finished product. We're going to show you right here. And I leave a little bit of extra so that the sock can bulge when the soil goes in. Okay. And then I put a tag tie around it and a couple screws on either side. So you've taken small tag ties and you've linked them together yes and you've you've uh, you, uh, created a closure a band for this right and then you <clears throat> you put the screws in here just to keep the tag tie from slipping off correct so the screws just go right in short screws right short, short sc screws go right into the side on two on both sides just to hold the tag tie on right okay and now we're going to take the tube, and it goes in this four and a half inch hole for the four inch pipe. Okay. And it's, it down and it's, in there. And it slips just and just like that. Okay. And then you're going to pack soil in here, you know, nice and tight, and then you're going to fill this up with soil. Okay. Now, so, uh, now the other thing I did was we drilled in the low area one quarter inch holes in the low area around the fill tube, and then and over, over here. Yeah, over here in this area, and I. And I also drilled a quarter inch hole on either side. 
Okay, so that any water that might be collecting in these low areas will drain. Will drain, and also it will drain right around here because this is this hole is not completely tight. So you don't want water sitting in here. You just want the water to wick up from here and keep the bottom dry. Just, just dry. And then the other thing we did was on the sides. Um, you'll see right here about one and a quarter inches down from the top where the soil sits. Right. We drilled a hole, as you can see, I've outlined with a black magic marker, and uh, and we drilled that on three on three areas on the side of the bucket. So this creates an airspace between the soil and the water. Okay, so you can say that about right here is the inside. Let's yeah. see the inside. That's about this level yeah. right here. Right. So you want you want an about you an want inch and a, a hole drilled about an inch and a quarter below that, so that this from here to here is your water reservoir, right. and from here to here, the top of the inside is an airspace. Correct. Okay. And, and okay, so the next we will show you filling it up. So the first thing you do is you carefully fill the sock with your soil, your gardening soil. And this is the and this is where the water is going to wick up from the bottom reservoir, which is down underneath the barrel. About half half of it is the water reservoir. So you're packing it down tightly, right, Dan? Not too tight. Not too tight, okay. Okay. Now what is this what is this right here? That's your fill tube. It's your fill tube and I see you've got your this hooked into your irrigation yep. system there. Right. Okay. And so now all you need to do is just fill this up and the water will be contained, will fill down into the bottom of the reservoir, but you won't get root rot because the roots will not be sitting in water. Um, it's just going to wick up. From it's the... just going to wick up from here. The water will wick up from this. Right. Very good. So the next thing is to continue to fill this up and to plant our seedlings. And see how that goes. Thank you for joining us on the Living Leaner and Greener channel. Stay tuned for our next video where we build a stackable strawberry grow tower.